Kristen at one point was pretty sure she was going to be your maid of honor. Oh. How did you? How did she get that idea? Well, Kristen is like one of my very best friends. I love her so much. So I could. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that till right now that she thought that. Okay. Really? No. She still wants to be. <laughs> I didn't know you were like really hardcore trying to be made of honor. No, I wasn't trying to be. I just totally thought I was going to be. Because Brittany's entire family, this is no awesome to everybody, I'm just but this Brittany's now. entire family, as I've met them, have told me they thank me every day for taking care of her and being her very best friend in LA. I'm like a sister to her and all this shit. And I'm like, son of a bitch, I'm going to be maid of honor. Like, <laughs> I told Kristen, just because Katie and Kara are maid of honor and matron of honor does not mean that I love them more than you guys or mean that I love them more than any of my bridesmaids. My sister as a bridesmaid. It just like, Kara and Katie are who introduced me to Jax. That's how we all met each other. This was the beginning of everything. Katie is my my neighbor. We see each other every day. We've gotten so freaking close. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry I'm not f***ing married, Katie. <laughs> sorry I don't live down the hall, Dude. Katie, who bitched and complained about them even moving in to begin with. This feels deep. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not trying to say that I'm a better friend of Brittany because <laughs> we're all amazing friends, yes. but I'm just saying what she lacks, I have. I'm sweating. This is really upsetting me. This is hysterical. There's some unresolved trauma There really here. is. Like, I, I had no idea about any of this. I thought you were just being extra. Asking my bridesmaids and figuring out my bridesmaids was like one, I almost want to cry. It was like one of the hardest things I had to do. Right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> because I didn't want to leave people out and I didn't want to upset people. And it just hurts my feelings thinking that she thought that. That just makes me sad. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Well, she's a part of the team. She's, she's a good. part of it, right? She's she's still doing the, the, as much as she would, I don't know. So. Brittany and I have shared a Pinterest board since the day she like day after she got engaged. All right. I guess I'm just best qualified for the job, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick up Katie's fing slack. <laughs> This got so real. It's, it's such a, a weird Kristen's thing to always, want a gun for. She lo no, Kristen's going to be that way like when anyone gets married. She's oh, she's going to be like I've also seen you like at Sheena's wedding barefoot in the front like almost about to fight people for that bouquet toss. Mm -hmm. What is that about? I don't do that anymore. Though. Okay. Oh, at my sister's wedding I did just cuz I felt like <laughs> <laughs> It's my sister's wedding. Like of course, doesn't mean I want to get married. It just means I want the fucking bouquet. I like winning. She, I think that's what it is. She likes to be number. She likes to be number one. Okay. And so she's like, I want to be maid of honor. I want to be this okay. person. I want to be yeah. the number one. I want to win. I want this. Yeah. Yes. But I don't want you to do a speech at anyone's wedding. Like no. as much as I love I you, didn't I do feel like Katie's. you shouldn't do a speech. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I think the best thing to do is like, I'm drinking. I'm just not like getting shammered. Nice speech. Kristen's very heartfelt and genuine with her words, but. You know, you yeah. She rambles and she'll kind of keep adding things. I'm really on into and detail that people are not into. They want a soundbite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's not my strong suit. Jax, tell me about the Beauty and the Beast theme wedding. Knowing that means you're the Beast. <laughs> it's a Beauty and the Beast theme wedding. Which is basically the theme of your wedding. Yeah. Yeah. It is the theme of our freaking wedding. It's like literally Beauty and the Beast. Like Jax has acted like a monster at times and she's the belle of the ball. Like she's literally like a real life Disney princess. The place she's getting married at, it's literally a castle. I yeah, think. it probably costs like $15 to rent because it's in the middle of Kentucky, right? The it couldn't be more <laughs> Spot on. She wants the whole fairy tale thing. Ten, That's what her tents and white party lights, was. babe. Cheap. It's cheap and classy. Cheap. White, white flowers, white tents, white lights. Couldn't see better. I could pick all that shit at Walmart, by the way. Walmart. And they got plenty of those in Kentucky. When you see this place where we're getting married, it does have some kind of Beauty and the Beast qualities to it, but also has some very Game of Thrones. Qualities to it. The Schwartz would say, I can't wait to trash that place. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about the wedding. Is it Beauty and the Beast? Yeah, probably. I am kind of a large beast, I guess you could say. And she is and beautiful. Large and, beast. And, and I, I'm just it's really big excited. Big old shiny beast. I'm really excited yeah. that she's getting everything that she's wanted. There's nothing that she's asked for that she hasn't gotten. For God's sakes, I'll have a wedding soon, and I'm sure everyone's going to be wanting to invite and be invited to that. I'm going to have P. Diddy at my wedding and like John Legend and sh it's not going to be like Jax's. 
Kentucky Fried Chicken Wedding. Okay, where beer cheese is the only hors d'oeuvre. You hung out with the brothers? Yes. Father? Yes. And they, they kind of gave you a yeah. little bit of an yeah. interrogation? Yeah. Talking to Brittany, she seems to really care about you. Don't know why, after what all you've done to her. But if you do screw up, your life will be a living hell. Listen, I don't even care. I love her father and I love her father's, but it's constant. You better be doing this. You better be like just coming at me, just hardcore. And it was just kind of like, we're at a nice dinner. We're at my engagement party. And I feel like I'm just being honed in by her brothers. Like, you better do this and you better do this and you better take care of her. I'm like, I don't know what decade you're living in. This isn't leave it to beaver here, okay? I'm not going out to work and she's the caretaker. It's 50-50. And my brother-in-law's in the corner. He's a very small, short, little guy, you know? And he's just kind of like, this is bullshit, man. I got three brothers and the dad just on me. He had to get up and excuse himself. He's like, I'm not listening to this anymore. He was livid about it. He's like, dude, who are these people? Okay, dude, everybody makes mistakes. She's no angel either. Like, you know, you, it takes two to make a marriage successful. You, you, you do this and you do this. I think it's coming from their conservative background, being where they are from and how they grew up. They're very in their, set in their ways, but you can't just automatically say, oh, this is your fault without knowing what's going on. I love Brittany to death. She's a saint, but she's like everybody else. She has her moments, you know? especially the more that she hangs out with these girls, <laughs> you know? She's starting to, you know, she has her moments, so it's kind of like... A little sassy. Yeah, and, and my brother-in-law, he was just kind of like, dude, man, what the f***? Like, they just lay into you, lay into you, and you haven't even done anything. And he's like, look at this f***ing party you're throwing for them. You paid for all their flights to come here, you did all this, and they're still on you. I get where he's coming from, and I love him to death for it, I do. Um, but it was what it was. I think it's obligatory. They just kind of ha they have to do that, right? I get it, and there is, but it was constantly. But it's constant. like, dude, I got it, I yeah. got it. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't just this. It was every single day. Oh. You better do this, or you do this, and you better do this, and this and that. And I'm just like, that's exhausting. Dude, I mean, come on, man. So I want you to love and cherish her the way that my family loves and cherishes her. What it, can she love and cherish me? I love Brittany more than anything, but I got to take care of this this guy here first. So I'm always going to be number one. I think Brittany and I should both look out for ourselves first. When we do get married, absolutely. Now, when we get married, that's a whole different thing because now I'm responsible for her. And I, and I do believe in being responsible and taking care of my family, and, and I 100% will. But that being said, she needs to take care of me too. I need love too. You know, it's, it goes both ways. If I'm not happy, how am I supposed to make you happy? So yes, I have to take care of myself first. I need to make sure that my mind's right, that I'm still going to therapy once in a while, that I'm checking in with myself because if I'm miserable, then she's gonna be miserable. So it's like yeah. turbulence on a plane. You got to help yourself first before you can help everybody else. Yeah, yes. You put your own mask on first before. But we're great, you know. I say, and we bounce off each other. And Brittany's not set in those ways. Brittany's not like that. She sees that, but she's not like that. And she's she's an amazing fiance. She does everything and more for me. Awesome. Yeah. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Wait, what's after that part? Finish the episode. Subscribe. Watch more. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to click here to subscribe and click here to watch more videos of Vanderpump Rules.